Welcome to Donald's English Corner Podcast. This podcast is dedicated to helping people express themselves in English in a relaxed and fun environment. Together, we will learn more about what the language has to offer by expanding your vocabulary, strengthening your grammar, and sometimes investigating American culture. Welcome to episode three. What did they say? This third podcast episode is dedicated to words that have the long A sound in them. Earlier this week, I used an expression in class that my student had never heard before. What did you say? She asked. To make hay, I repeated. And then on seeing her very confused expression, explained that it meant to take advantage of an opportunity. Now, this expression isn't as common in 2024 as it was in previous generations. My guess is that fewer and fewer people live or work on farms. People today don't, well, they don't make hay. That expression inspired today's podcast episode, the long A sound that appears in words like hay and they. The format of this episode is a game of trivia. The focus is to learn new words and to practice their spelling. If you get the word and its spelling right, fantastic. If you make a mistake, just rewind the podcast and give it another go. The goal is to have fun while learning. So before we start, take a moment to think about what words in your environment have the long A sound. And off we go. Welcome to part one. In this first part, we will practice five words that contain the long A sound, spelled A-Y. I will read the word twice. Afterwards, you'll hear music for a few seconds. This is your time to spell the word out loud. And don't just think about the spelling, say it. Move your mouth. I will then spell the word. Are you ready? Here we go. Hey. H A Y Hooray Hooray H O O R A Y Mayor Mayor M A Y O R Stray Stray S T R A Y To pray To pray P R A Y All right, how did you do in part one? Remember, rewind the audio and listen again if you didn't quite get the spelling of a word. Take another deep breath, and let's move on to part two. In this second part, we're going to practice five words that contain the long A sound, but are spelled with E-Y. Like in part one, I will read the word twice. You'll then hear some music for a few seconds. This is your time to spell the word out loud. I will then give you the correct spelling. The key here is to speak it. You ready? Here we go. Hey. Hey. H-E-Y. They. They. T-H-E-Y Pray Pray P-R-E-Y Survey Survey S-U-R-V-E-Y To obey to obey. 
O-B-E-Y. All right, how did part two treat you? Remember to rewind the audio and listen again if the spelling of a word escapes you. Now, take another deep breath, and let's move on to part three. In part three, we are going to learn the meaning of five of this week's words. You'll hear me read a definition, followed by a few seconds of music. That's your opportunity to say and to spell the correct word. Remember, spell it out loud. Okay, let's get started. This three-letter word is used to get someone's attention. An exclamation mark almost always follows this word in written form. Hey. H-E-Y. This five-letter word means the elected leader of a city or town. Mayor. M-A-Y-O-R. This word refers to an animal taken by another animal as food, or a person who is helpless to defend themselves from attack. Prey. P-R-E-Y. This four-letter verb means to follow a command or order. To obey. O-B-E-Y. The last word has four letters and refers to a domestic animal, like a pet cat or dog, that is lost or living without an owner. Stray. S-T-R-A-Y. All right, how did you do in part three? I hope that you learned the meaning of one or two new words. And did you notice that two or perhaps three of the words we just practiced were related to animals? Yeah, animals were on my mind. If you didn't notice it, give it another listen. Otherwise, let's build on your success in part four. In part four, you'll hear me read five sentences, as well as a brief sound. Your goal is to fill in that brief sound with the correct word. For example, if I said, my best friend got a new job, the correct word would be hooray, H-O-O-R-A-Y. Like in previous parts, you should say and spell the missing word out loud when you hear the music. Ready? Let's do this. Oh man, election season is the worst. My phone rings at least 10 times a day from companies conducting political about who I might vote for this year. Surveys. S-U-R-V-E-Y-S. The sick girl's parents every day that she will get better. Pray. P-R-A-Y. Farmers cut their grass and let it dry out. This process turns the grass into which animals will eat. Hay. H-A-Y. Our grandparents were loving people, but very strict. Everyone had their rules. To obey. O-B-E-Y. Hey, uh, where did the kids go after school? Oh, all went to the park to ride their skateboards. They. T-H-E-Y. Congratulations. You made it to the end of the third episode of Donald's English Corner podcast, What Did They Say? Please check out my website at donaldinchicago.com or any of my social media sites if you'd like to learn more about the English language and American culture. Thanks, everybody, and see you next time in episode four. Thank you.